Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Gamer Masala and today I'm going to show you how to defeat Tower of Trials Floor 25 using just one unit. So for this single unit clear challenge, uh, we're going to use Assault Mode Meliodas because the Assault Mode Meliodas is the king of PV content. So if you already have AM Melee, be sure to use him or any of his entire team for this floor if you are looking to clear it. But you can uh, do this just by using AM Melee, it's just a little bit tricky. I'm gonna go into some of the gear setup and what kind of um, associations and what kind of artifact cards you need to use for this stage because it's not exactly easy beating Slater. So for this stage, he actually has two ads. Um, one of them is um, speed type and the other one is HP type. And both of them have attack increase. So they get progressively stronger and you kind of need to take them out sooner. Um, for this one, the ideal association to go for is Asterosa's crit damage, but mine is only 2 of 6, so I don't quite get a maximum stat boost from Asterosa, so I decided to use Jericho instead. And my Jericho has complete attack and uh, crit um, UR gear, so she has a pretty robust attack. Um, so just use any association, any, one, any of your tunes that has UR gear, and you should be able to get a decent amount of attack on Assault Mode Meliodas. The next thing up is that you do need complete attack cards. So you want to deal as much damage as possible and especially um, when you take a Slater um, ult, you kind of need to kill him very quick because when Slater's alone on the battlefield, he will increase his attack by 50%. Um, and then the ideal gear for Assault Mode Meliodas is using HP and defense because you, you can use attack crit, but the first uh, in, the, in the first turn, you get attacked basically five times. Um, you could attack twice by each ad and then Slater attacks you once. So the ideal gear here is to use HP defense because you need to have as much HP as possible. So mine doesn't have perfect rolls. Mine is about 14%. I put some um, hammers into it just to make it a little bit above 14. So it's not like you need perfect rolls for this, uh, but you do need a, you do need some investment into Assault Meliodas' cosmetics. So ideally his weapon cosmetics should be maxed out, whichever ones you have, you don't really need to spend diamonds to buy most of them. I did at some point, so I have them maxed out. You also need his defense and his HP sets. Um, the last thing is that you do need attack food because you need to take the ads down as quickly as possible. Alright, so first off, Slater has 300k combat class, so he's obviously gonna go first. If you have a decent glue team, you should be able to get more than 300k with combat class food. So if you were to try using um, glue to solo this, it's actually very easy. You should be able to do it pretty quickly. Um, while using one unit, you'll notice that Assault Moon Meliodas gets um, a total of 5 stacks of his basic stat increase. Uh, he gets attacked 5 times, and with an HP defense set, you should be able to tank this pretty easily. The next thing to do is um, hope to get an ult before Slater gets his ult. But that doesn't mean that you should spend any um, any of your turns combining cards because each card in this one is very valuable. Even the gold ruptures that you get like I did here with some really good RNG really helps. And every time the ad on the left attacks, he will steal an orb. So you just kind of have to hope that he doesn't attack you more than a few times. Or if he does, um, you just have to get some merges and kind of be lucky over there. So I have a gold rupture that I used for the next stage. So I have a gold rupture at this point, which is actually pretty fantastic because that way I can save all of my amplify cards. So the, the most ideal thing is to have amplify, a gold amplify at the very end. Because once Slater attacks you, you get only really you get one turn to attack him back because he has an in insanely high crit chance and he is obviously going to crit on assault mode Meliodas. So here I decided to ult because I had my ult ready and I needed that 50% boost to my basic stats because that's the only way that assault mode Mel Meliodas can tank his ult. He actually doesn't have much of a problem tanking the ult. It's the follow up attacks that kill him um, pretty easily. So as you can see, he lost less than half of his HP with that ult. But once he attacks, you have he has three attacks coming and each one of them will deal more than 120k damage. So it took me about 15 tries just to solo this with a Salmon Meliodas. Um, um, yeah, you just need an Amplify at the very end to just down him. And yeah, that's, that's about it. It's actually not very difficult. You just need really good RNG, really good attack artifact cards and a strong HP defense set on your AM melee. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We just recently hit 800 subs and we are only 6 subs away from hitting 825. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe.